I just got access to Dolly 3 and it's amazing from everything I've seen. It's rolling out to all ChatGPT Plus users, so it's $20 a month to get this feature, but I'm first gonna show you how to get it for free right now. So all you need to do is have a Microsoft account. No, really, that's it. So if you go to bing.com slash create, you have access to Dolly 3 right now. It's the same exact model in a slightly different interface. You also get 100 credits, which is good for 100 generations of four images each. So four variations of each prompt. And after that, it just takes a little while. Right now, it says that there's actually a five minute wait time even with my credits, but that's the first time I've seen this. And so that's it. Now you have Dolly for free. But what I really wanna show you is Dolly and ChatGPT because that works a little bit differently. So as you can see here, if I hover over this GPT-4 dropdown right here, it says Dolly 3 beta and I have it selected. So we could just start using it. And the way that it works is slightly different from mid journey. You're actually working with AI, you're working with ChatGPT to create the prompts that then create the images. So let's try one create a logo for a company called Forward Future AI. And here at the top, you can see it's using Dolly 3. And the interface is very similar to using plugins. So all of a sudden we have this like little glowing area and it's generating the prompt. So the first one we have photo logo design featuring a sleek metallic emblem of intertwined letters F and A representing photo future AI. And then we have another one, here's a vector, here's a render of a 3D logo. And so basically ChatGPT is creating each one of these various prompts and then it's gonna create the actual images for them. It's not super fast though. So there we go. Now I can see there's some problems Problems. Only this bottom right one, Forward Future AI, actually wrote the text well. F I A, Forward Future AI, Furwad. So definitely text and images is still not great. But I actually really like this one. If only it just said F F instead of F I A. So let's see. If I click it, I can get a bigger version of it. And then if I click this little download button, I can download it. And then if I hit right and left, I can see the different versions. So this one's kind of like a 60s retro futurism version, which I actually really like, but it's not good for a logo. We have this one, which looks like a generic stock photo, uh, which I'm not a fan of either. This one's okay, although it says fur wad, which is kind of funny. And definitely this one's my favorite. It, it kind of looks like a brain with different points. And uh, yeah, it really makes sense to me with AI. And like always, you can just regenerate it. So let's try one more time. So as it's output, the prompt, it actually starts generating the image. So after each prompt, it's starting the generation rather than waiting for all four to finish. So here's one photo logo featuring a stylized arrow pointing upward intertwined with a digital circuit pattern showcasing the progression of technology. Yeah, these are really nice descriptive prompts. Okay, Ford Future, Ford Future AI. I really like this one. This one is weird kind of 80s futurism. This one also is kind of more 80s futurism. And then we have four Vaird for weird AI. So yeah, again, not always getting the text in the image right, although this one did pretty well. I really like this one. Let's see what happens if we take the same prompt and put it in Bing's version. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it. I'm gonna switch over to Bing's image creator and I'm gonna paste it right in there, create. And you can see that it used one of my credits. And right here it says, create images more quickly with boosts. That's what the credits are. And if you run out, image generation may take longer. So it is completely free to use Bing's version. And Bing's version is incredibly slow. So it does say your images are on the way, but it's taking longer than expected. And right before this, it actually told me that it's not gonna be using my credits because things are taking too long. So I think their systems are just overloaded right now. So while that's loading, I'm gonna try one more thing. Let's see how it compares against Leonardo.ai, which is currently my favorite AI generator just because of the depth of functionality that they have. Okay, so I pasted in the same prompt. Let's see what it generates. Okay, Leonardo is incredibly fast, except it doesn't actually have any legible text in the image. And all four of these images are incredibly similar. So Leonardo AI doesn't seem to be capable of putting text in images right now. Let's try another fine-tuned model version. I'm gonna use SDXL 0.9. Let's see if that produces something better. Okay, it definitely is better and it gives me bigger variation, but none of them have text in the image. 
which does not work for a logo. Now, the good thing about Leonardo.ai is that I can actually find a fine-tuned model that has text in the images that are specifically created for creating logos. So I could potentially do that, but I'm not gonna spend time doing that right now. Okay, next, create a scene of cute robot puppies playing in a field. So again, ChatGPT is gonna write out four different prompts for me. And I kind of like how it does that because then I get four very different images. The one thing it does seem to be missing though is if I wanted variations of one of these images, I'm not sure how I would do that. I could probably just click in and then grab the prompt and put the prompt in, but then I wonder if it's just gonna rewrite the prompt for me. Let's try that actually. Okay, and it only created one image and it says, I apologize for the inconvenience, but Dolly is currently experiencing high demand and I was unable to generate all the images as requested. So very interesting. And it looks like Bing and ChatGPT might be using the same servers because they're both overloaded, which would make sense because they're essentially the same company. And the Bing version is not done yet. It's still going. But let's look at this image. This one's definitely cute. I wanted something more realistic. And let's see if I just copy this prompt and put it in again, what happens? Yeah, so it actually does rewrite my prompt. So I don't know if there's actually a way to put a prompt directly into Dolly 3 ch through ChatGPT. So that's definitely a problem. So Dolly through ChatGPT is pretty limited in terms of features and functionality. And let's try it in Leonardo.ai as well, just to see what the difference is. All right, here we go. All four of them are very cartoonish, but they do look cute and they are robot puppies playing in a field. So pretty cool. Okay, and I did say vector image. So let's try it one more time, except we're gonna do photorealism. Okay, let's try that again. All right, here is the Leonardo.ai version. And and some of these dogs don't look right. So definitely not as good as Dolly 3. Here's another one and another one and the last one. So they're very pretty images, but they definitely don't have as high of a quality as Dolly 3. And I think I'm gonna give up on Bing altogether because it doesn't seem to be working right now. But I was using it earlier and it worked fine. Here are some of the generations that I used earlier. So I just typed car, I mean, this one's gorgeous. And a lot of them seem to have kind of a retro futuristic look. This one looks like it might be a need for speed screenshot. Uh-oh, that person better get out of the way. And here's another set. So I typed astronaut flying in space. This is a big astronaut. This one looks really cool. This one looks great as well. Very high quality, very detailed. And this one also. And here are some puppies that I asked. Black Lab puppies playing in a garden. So this looks incredibly real. I mean, you can see every hair, every piece of fur on this dog's body. Here's another one, looks great. Ah, oh, look at that, paws on the other one's head. And look at these two, gorgeous. And there's one with its little tongue out. Awesome. All right, so it created two images this time. And I said photorealism, let's see if it looks better. Definitely looks more realistic, although it still looks like a drawing or a painting. Not necessarily real, real, but it looks good. And in the back, you can see like dozens of robot puppies even flying in the air, kind of weird. Here's another version and all of the puppies look the same. That's fine, looks good. All right, I wanna try writing more words in images. So write the words forward future AI in simple vector form format with bright colors, a futuristic background with an astronaut flying in space. Let's see how it does. I'm also gonna copy this prompt and try it in Leonardo.ai. So again, it rewrites my prompt in four different variations. So let's see what it does. Cool, it was only able to do three, but they look good. There's something about it where it keeps giving me very like retro futuristic vibes. Forward, future, Almost, there's that additional I right there, whatever that is. Uh, let's see, forward future AI, got that one right. And forward future AI, this one actually looks really good. It got all the letters correct. And now let's look at Leonardo.ai. So yeah, kind of the same vibe, uh, but definitely just doesn't get the letters right. So Dolly 3 is definitely better at letters and images. So that's it for now. You know how to get Dolly 3 for free. If you have ChatGPT Plus and you don't have Dolly 3 baked in already, you'll probably get it soon over the next few days. I just got it today. So have fun creating. If you wanna see me do a deeper dive into the differences between Dolly 3, Leonardo.ai, Mid Journey even, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to do that. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.